Greetings, this is Monica Smith from Atlanta's House of Henna, and I get this random question a lot, and uh, it is, how do I hold my henna comb? And so, most henna artists will tell you this answer right here, whichever way you feel comfortable. That doesn't really help you a lot. So, I'm gonna try to explain to you how I kinda worked through that. I see a lot of people that use uh, big combs. This right here is considered a big comb. I do not like to use these because it is a little awkward on my hand. So when I roll my cones, I do not roll them this big. I like them small, okay? So that's the first thing that helped me out. I rolled my cones small instead of big. Okay, so here's a, a little marker. Or let's not even say marker. Here is a pen, all right? So I'm gonna get this pen. How do I hold this pen? I hold my this pen like this. I put the bottom of my hand on the surface and I write, okay? So I hold it like this. All right, so let's transfer that over to my small henna comb. I hold it like this, the same way. So I'm gonna write my name. The same way. Now, I don't really want to rest my hand on the person's uh, hand or body. I usually don't do that, but what I will do is this. Okay, so here's the paper. So I don't want to rest it really on the person's skin. So what I'll do is I'll take my second hand, my other hand, I'll kind of do like that. So I do that. This helps me anchor and steady my hand. Um, I don't do that all the time. Sometimes I'll just, I'll start off like this. Um, depending on what I'm drawing, I may do like that. I've seen some henna artists kind of have their hand dangling up in the air. I can't do that. I can't have my hand just dangling up in the air and, and drawing like that. So I have to have some sort of rest and it might be my other hand. So this is how I hold my henna comb. As, you, um, as your henna comb gets empty, Okay, so your as your henna cone gets empty, yeah, I have to squeeze everything down to the bottom and fold it down like that so it's still full. Now once it, it starts to get empty, I, I don't hold it like that anymore. I kind of hold it like this. And I do it like that. But it's still kind of the same way. So here is a cone that's really empty. And I can like use, I can use all of the henna in the cone. So what I'll do is I'll squeeze everything thing to the front like that. I'll roll it up like that. And I can still get some more out of it. Like that. So that is how I hold my henna comb. I like them small and I hold them just like I would hold my pen because this is the henna comb and I would hold my pen this way. So it's the same way, but I really can't do it that well if I have a larger henna comb. So I prefer the smaller ones. So I hope this kind of helps you on how to hold the henna comb but ultimately you'll kind of figure out the best way for you. But this is the way I figured out the way for myself. So hopefully that will help you. So my last suggestion on how to figure out how to hold your cone, because everybody does it differently. I just explained how I kind of fell into the way I hold my cone. So try different positions. I would also, maybe YouTube and look at other artists and see how they uh, hold their henna comb. And depending on what body part 
you may hold it a little bit differently. Um, if the person is laying down and you're doing the septum, you may do it, uh, no, the sternum, you may do it a little bit differently. Or um, the arm, you may be doing it a little bit differently and holding your cone a little bit differently and, and the placement of your hand. So basically try to do it different ways and find out a way that is comfortable for you. But that's the way that I figured out how to hold my comb.